And welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me. This is a part of a series of videos in which I am analyzing animation from a technical perspective. In this video, I'll be looking at exaggeration. By this, I mean movement that is intentionally not realistic or natural, but is amplified for some specific reason. Anime sees two primary kinds of exaggeration comedic and action. Comedic exaggeration includes super deformed animation as well as exaggerated comedy poses. Super deformation is interesting because SD characters don't actually move much and when they do it's very simplified. The creators focus on the characters facial expressions. Now this is true of anime in general but it's particularly evident in SD. In contrast when a boy does something unintentionally naughty and a girl punishes him for it they're often drawn in intentionally over-the-top and exaggerated poses. People can't actually stretch their bodies that far, but the magnification of the poses magnifies their outrage and their emotion. Animators also exaggerate in action series. A more exaggerated motion for a blow or a reaction intensifies the action, intensifies the character's reaction, and can thus intensify how the audience reacts to that. This also helps to distinguish one action series from another. Often different series will establish different tones of exaggeration. For example, the exaggerations in Dragon Ball Z are very different from the exaggerations in, say, Kill la Kill. Of course, this can be taken too far. Characters can be drawn in such extreme poses that we can't tell who's who or who's doing what. Sometimes we want a little more realism, but that's another video. That's it for this video, short and sweet. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you next time.